Wait, is this a picture or video? Oh, oh, oh. drive through or you want to be on the cash register? Which would you want to be on? The window. The, the drive through Yes. And the reason why you wanted the, the window instead of the cash register is what? Because I'm not really good at money. Uh, Alyssa, uh, if you were uh, on a construction crew, would you want to drive the truck or would you want to uh, dig the holes? I would rather drive the truck. Why is that? I don't feel like doing all that work. I'd rather just drive. If you were an ambulance driver, who would you want to go pick up? Uh, someone who was in a car wreck or someone who had a heart attack? Someone that had a car accident. Why? Because I don't feel like dealing with nobody that got heart problems. They probably gonna have heart problems and I ain't no doctor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, okay, so all I want you to do is tell me why that music's loud. I know it. I agree with you. I'll be back. Yes, it's a very important project. It very much appreciate somebody taking the time to help these young people to grow stronger and give them a reason to do things and be proud of it. And also, coming here and being with these children makes me go home happy and my husband says he loves that I'm happy. Uh, for sympathy, if you were a doctor, would you rather operate on people's uh, stomachs or on their brains? Why would you want to be on their brain? Because I can make them smarter. Okay. If you were a police officer, would you rather go to a donut shop or arrest a felon? If you were a professor at a university, would you rather teach uh, dance or, uh, or uh, speech pathology? Dance. Why would you want to teach dance? Instead? I don't know what speech pathology is. <laughs> so Santana, uh, if you were an airplane pilot, would you rather fly to Mozambique or would you rather fly to Tampa, Florida? Tampa, Florida. Why do you want to fly to Tampa, Florida? This is a beautiful place. Whoa, I did not know you were recording. a lot of empowerment today with the girls learning what it's like to actually be professional and interact with customers that are purchasing items that they help create so yeah just a lot of empowerment the girls have had smiles on their faces all day even though they complained a little bit about being on their feet 
but that's something that they need to learn as well because they were on their feet for maybe five seconds and then they were we need a break 130 130 we need a break so it's good they're learning how to work how to interact with people that are not maybe their peers people from all different economic socioeconomic backgrounds that's very important and how to be professional even if you want to be goofy at the time teaching us about what they were going to say or what questions we were going to ask and I was like there's no sense of saying that because I guess nobody's going to be coming or like if they were coming I I guess they were not even going to like ask that kind of question. I didn't think anybody was going to be here but when it was a lot of people I, wouldn't, I wasn't expecting that but it's a coffee house so it sort of kind of made sense. Do you think this was uh, beneficial in any way to do this? Yes, sir. If so, how? Yes, sir, because I saw the money that's up there and it made a lot of money. <laughs> you know? I think we should continue to do this, yes or no? Yes. It was really, to be honest, it was really fun. I think that we can do it again, but I think it depends on where we have it. So, so where, where this, you? this was a success because it's a coffee house and like people go to coffee houses. Okay, so if he lets me come... Well, I know, but if he lets me come back here again, couldn't we just have a different theme? Because mm -hmm. I like the I like the coffee house. Yeah. 